arguably one of the most important pieces of the Linux puzzle or learning how to use Linux is how to use the command shells. So we're going to take some time and discuss the basic components of a command shell and how to use them. Basically, a command shell is a component of the Linux operating system that allows you to submit commands to the system. So we're going to talk about some of the available command shells and which ones are used most commonly. In addition, we'll discuss a little bit about the command structure and syntax involved in using Linux commands. Now because no one can expect you to know all of the commands and their associated syntax and structures right off the bat, there are some available help options such as man pages and help switches that we'll discuss. This way you can continue to learn about various Linux commands on your own. And finally we'll take some time to talk about directory navigation and kind of feel out how to move about the Linux operating system. So let's take a few moments and just talk about the command shells. So if we want to type in and execute a command, this is where we're going to perform that. So it's going to happen inside the command line interface or the command shell. There are several different shells available with various Linux distributions, and each shell has special features that are different from each other. Now your most common shells are your C shell, your corn shell, and your born shell. As a matter of fact, the most common of the three is actually the bash or the born shell. Now you'll notice if we move into our Linux operating system you can see that I'm actually prefixed by a pound sign which indicates that I'm logged in as root. Now as we mentioned before you can also see this dictated as a dollar sign and that will usually let you know that you're logged in with less than root privileges. Right now we're defaulting to the bash shell. If we wanted to move over to a different shell we can easily move to any other shells that are installed by simply typing in the shell name. For example, you can tell the difference between the C shell at the bottom and the bash shell here at the top by the available prompts. Now standard commands operate exactly the same between these two shells. There will be differences, but for all intents and purposes, the C shell and the born shell pretty much feel and smell exactly the same. 